Lab Guy here. This is uh, episode one of the Craig 6104 1965 Viticon camera restoration project. Today we'll take a look at some of the steps in the process and where I'm at, what the status is. So let's get down to the usual business. Welcome all new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Greetings to all of my subscribers. You guys rock. Thanks for watching my videos. I want you to all know that I appreciate you all. So, the Craig 6104 camera project is on track and is progressing along. I've produced the worksheets for the uh, circuit boards, which I've shown you before. This is the video board. This one is the deflection board. There are two other smaller boards. I'm not sure what their functions are. Um, I've been working on the video board schematic off and on on paper and I'm finding this, pro this process to be tedious and uh, my colored pencils which I like to use for uh, emphasis are very soft and uh, when you actually try to write small print they break very easily and it's very frustrating. So I'm going to switch from translating this to paper to actually entering it into a key CAD program and uh, see how that goes. I don't know. I'm sure that'll have its own issues. But um, the schematic that I'm deriving so far is not nonsense. It makes complete sense. Here I am transferring the board layout information to a schematic. This is uh, a real hair puller. Yes, sir. So, Q4 where is Q4? Q4 is here. His emitter goes to goes up to 12 volts through a 220 and a 1.5K. The 1.5K has 47 microfarads in parallel. Okay, so the signal continues from the collector to the base of Q5. Q5. Q5 is a 544F, which we know is a NPN. So his emitter goes to ground through an 820. 820 ohms and that is bypassed to <laughs> that is one weird bypass circuit um, okay there is a cap point like that to a cap this plus plus and it's a 47 microfarad and a 10 microfarad at 12 on the 12 volt line. Some sort of noise canceling going on there. We got some more negative feedback going on too. Holy cow, what's going on? Oh, okay. So the collector has a 390 pull up resistor.
collector of Q5. It goes to it goes to twelve volts. Okay. And then wow, it does some wild stuff. It goes the collector feeds back to the emitter of Q4. Okay. It feeds back to the emitter of Q4. through a 3.3K resistor. Okay, so that's a <laughs> that's a very interesting Okay. All right, and then the output. Wow. Of that. I see I'm missing some components there on the board. I'm gonna have to pull the board back out of the camera. I've got some wild stuff going on over here. Okay, at some point over here, we're coming to the video output driver signal out it's over here we have Q5 Q4 okay and then I did oh shit I've got two Q5s got two Q5s so Q6 7 Q7, Q6, Q5. Okay, so this Q5 can't be Q5. And the second one, it has to become... What will I call him? Q6, Q7, this has to be Q8. <laughs> this will be Q... Nine Q ten. These will be Q eleven, Q twelve, Q thirteen. Here's the Craig 6104 on the workbench connected to my Sony broadcast LCD monitor and uh, power. I've reassembled it for this test. I ordered two Viticon tubes from eBay and when they arrived both of them had gone to atmosphere. They were both bad. The seller has been very cooperative, very nice person and is sending me a couple more Viticons hopefully intact and we'll try it at that time. But um, out of curiosity I haven't replaced any components uh, I have the dud Viticon in there. Uh, apparently there's enough air in there. The heater opened up when it was powered up. So there's no heater glow in the tube. So out of curiosity, I hooked it to the broadcast monitor and placed the monitor in pulse cross mode to see what the uh, to see if the camera circuits were running and producing sync and to see what that sync might look like. So let's turn on the camera now and see how it looks on the monitor. Well, for a free running oscillator camera, it is running on frequency close enough for that monitor to identify it as a 480i60 uh, signal. Um, 
you see that there's a little bit of noise in the vertical interval and the um, otherwise the pulse cross looks good it's uh, producing a fairly square picture the monitor likes it for the most part this monitor is very fussy when sync is not to its liking it will mute and give us no picture so there you have it the Craig 6104 camera has enough power supplies running to produce sync and it has sync coming out now the next test is to poke my finger in where the Viticon tube is and see if we see noise on the screen of the monitor. So I'm removing the lens of the camera and inserting a finger into the front of the camera and touching the face of the Viticon tube, not the contact. That can be 40 or 50 volts, it will tickle. But you'll note that when I place my finger in and touch the target face of the Viticon tube there is noise on the monitor so the video preamplifier is working as well so as I've demonstrated the Craig 6104 Viticon camera appears to be functional I will still replace the capacitors check the resistors and replace any that are out of tolerance and so on. So thank you for watching this uh, episode one of the Craig 6104 restoration series. I hope you keep coming back to see how this goes. Uh, some replacement Viticons are in the mail and we'll let you know how that works when they get here. All signs are very good. They're all pointing to yes that this thing will work. This uh, is a very uh, pleasant uh, situation when I powered up the camera it uh, didn't go up in smoke that's always a good sign then it put out sync pulses another good sign and the video amplifier chain appears to be working so once we have a good Viticon tube in there uh, we should be able to see a picture whether it's a good picture or not that's to be seen so uh, keep checking back on this series and uh, be sure to follow my other uh, series on the um, on the NBTV Dissector Cam project. Progress is going well on that too. And if you're lucky, there will be another video very, very soon on that subject uh, showing progress being made there. So until next time, this is Lab Guy. Out. I've got two Q5s.